What do you see right now? Is this a bunch of old buildings to you? Does it look like something more? Let's take a rewind back to the 1850s, and today we look at Madrid in Spain. And there's a lot of peculiar photos, and there's a lot of weird stuff going on. And you can see there's just a lot of dirt. It's like a big open space, and there's not many people, but you have all these unbelievable buildings, and I mean an absolute unbelievable amount. Beautiful statues, beautiful monuments all around the city. And they're all built in the Greco-Roman style. But I find it interesting because it's so similar to all the other buildings around the world. And I tell you, I've stared at many beautiful places such as Dresden and Paris and on and on, but this one really takes the cake. And you see photos like this, and you say, well, maybe they were digging out the railroad tracks. Maybe they found them. What about this crazy chariot in the middle of the city? I mean, there's so many buildings, like this huge palace. And look who built it. Look how they're getting around, these covered wagons. I mean, it looks like people who just arrived. Look how big the doors are. Even the steps here seem to fade into the ground. So a lot of these buildings would very well be under the ground, like we've seen in many other cities. Another one from the 1850s. Just really weird stuff. And then you have all of these, what we consider antiquitech, all these antennas that come off the roofs. Here's another crazy picture. The more you look, the more you see, and the more you wonder. And you say, what is going on? You know, I, I was taught a certain history. I wasn't taught this. And every city you go to, you see more and more oddities. And more and more absolutely incredible, unbelievable buildings. And in Madrid, the list never ends. I could go on and on and on and that's not even looking at the interiors so once again we have the same buildings from everywhere else in the world the same builders the same trams the same everything what is going on why is the world so similar and why does it always look like they're just starting out 